What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and this month we're doing No Effort November. I am stealing this idea from one of my favorite YouTubers. I feel like I'm building the train track while riding the train, and that's stressful. So for the next month, I'm going to try to get ahead of the videos uh, and work towards some stuff. So with that out of the way, I wanted to talk about fur meats because this last week I did a little Halloween thing and it's surprisingly easier than you'd think. So on Halloween, I hosted a little fur meat and it wasn't really I hosted and it wasn't really planned. Everything kind of came together the night before. So I, I, I set up a fur meet on Halloween night and it was basically the same day. I hit up a friend who I had just met and they're like, hey, I'm not doing anything Halloween. Do you want to go down and do something? And I'm like, yes, I do. Let's go to this random park in downtown Portland and see if something's happening. I didn't know, but I figured if someone was there and it's Halloween night, no one was going to get too upset if there was a fursuiter or two. And so we ended up planning that out. Uh, they invited some of their friends in the local area and I invited some of mine. And we ended up with a group of like six or seven, mostly just scragglers who didn't make it to any of the other furry events. And we had a good time. I brought a little bit of fireball from the store and I just kind of made it work. Um, one of the things that I find is really difficult out here in the Portland scene is that there really isn't anyone willing to coordinate fur meets. And I think that's a huge important part of the furry community, is being able to have local events where you can be yourself. Be a furry, be a fursuiter, talk about furries, or just meet other furries in general. I think that's super important for the community. That's why Seattle is like the hot business and probably Denver too, because everyone's hosting some kind of event or furry party. And so they're really easy. It's really easy to connect with your community in your area. Here in Portland, the community is super fragmented. And so that makes it really difficult for everyone to to actually be somewhere for an event. Even our local furry con is kind of mid. And it sucks. I wish it, I wish it could be, you know, a great furry con. We do have a really cool convention center, but you know, like I said, the community's fragmented. And so as you add people and, and as you meet people, it really just takes someone willing to say, hey, this is where we're gonna meet, this is when we're gonna do it, and this is what we're gonna bring. And all, if you have those three things, you can do a fur meet. It's super easy. And I would recommend anyone who knows at least a couple furries in the community, try one out. Have a little get together, have a picnic at a park. It doesn't need to be blow your socks off fur con. You don't need to have a DJ and a rave and all that stuff. You know, just a Bluetooth speaker and some food. Really kind of all you need to have a really good time comparatively. And so anyone who's nervous about stepping foot in their community and trying to host something or trying to put something together, don't be. Because when you put that first step forward, a lot of people want to follow, but not so many want to lead. And I was able to take that role on Halloween night and put together something really fun. We ended up going to a public park and I didn't know if anything was gonna happen. I didn't know if anyone was gonna be there. It might've just been us, but we found a bunch of people around our age that were having fun partying at the park themselves. We walk up and they're like, oh my God, it's a furry, they're furries. And they were having such a fun time looking at us in costume. I had my poi I was spinning and it was just good vibes all around for a Halloween night. Plus the park was super pretty and they had music and free food. They were just offering food for us. So super good vibes, super good time. And really the point of this video is don't be afraid to put your first step forward because you might be the one that leads everybody to doing it themselves too. Just because nothing is happening in your community doesn't mean that nobody wants to do anything. Just not a lot of people want to be the one to do it. So hope you take that advice. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.